This video is going to show you how to transmit a program using the Animatics SMI software. First, I'm going to establish communication to my motor by right clicking on my COM port and selecting RS, address RS-232 chain. If you do not know how to do this, please refer to the video on establishing communication to a smart motor. My motor icon has popped up underneath my COM port, so I have established communication. I can verify this by typing a command of RP, report position, and getting some kind of feedback. And I got position zero in this case. Now I open up my program, and I have called the program test. If you do not have a program, please open up a new program and save this program after you type whatever you want to type in it. So I'm going to open up my program pops up in the teal window. First thing they do is address or set the address of the motor to 2. Set the origin to 0 or set present position to 0 and put it in position mode and then an end statement. An end statement will stop program execution. So when I transmit this program and reset power it will go down to the end statement and stop executing. The commands underneath the end statement are a subroutine called C10. So subroutine 10, which has a return statement, you can always tell all subroutines it has a return, except for the C1 subroutine usually has a return F, or C2 has a return I. Remember, I am talking about class 4 motors. That is firmware version 4 something. Nothing that is 5. For version firmware 5 something something will be class 5 and the command structure is a little bit different similar but different the C10 routine sets a velocity an acceleration and a position says go according to these values and then waits at this line of code until that position has been reached and then it returns so let me transmit this program and show you how it works when I, when I right click on the program select compile and transmit SMX file F5 it will ask you to select your COM port and your motor I select OK if this is not showing a motor icon that means you have not established communication and go back and establish communication first so I select OK it's going to a couple warnings just tell me it's going to end the program execution and I'm going to select reset it tells me it has successfully downloaded the program to the motor. When I hit reset, it will start from the top down and go to the end statement. So there is no motion. When I do an RP, I will not get a response. And the reason why you're not getting a response is because you have motor1, com1. And in this program I just sent to it, I set it to address2. So this address 2 doesn't match motor address 1. So I have to reestablish communication. It's going to ask me to do that. So I'm going to select yes. Now if I had motor address 1 at the top and this was motor address 1, that no echo response would not pop up. So now you see when I uh, establish communication, it says motor 2 COM 1. That's because I put a program in there that has set the motor address to 2. So now I can verify what the position is, which is zero, which makes sense because I zeroed it out at the top of the program and it's ended. Now if I go into the program window and call C C10 subroutine I have in the program, which is go sub 10, you're going to see the motor move one revolution and stop at position 4000 according to what we told it to do. Before I hit enter, I'm going to pop up the motor view so we can see this in real time happening. So let me make the motor view online. It's position zero. Now I'm going to hit send and you're going to see this change. Oh, there we go. It's at position 4000 and it's in absolute mode. Absolute mode is because I said P. Now if I did D as in David, that would be relative mode. In relative mode it says wherever I am presently make a relative move this many counts from that. Absolute says 
doesn't matter where I'm at, I am going to position 4,000 or whatever position value I uh, set the motor to. It is an absolute move. So if I move this over a little bit, and I go back to the terminal window, and I type P equals zero to go back to position zero, and then hit G for go, you're going to see the motor view change and go back to position zero. And as this moves, you'll see a, another green LED activated just because it's during, during the move, it's in trajectory, and that's what that second LED means. So I'm going to pick a big position value so you can see the other LED on. And you see it on right there. And it says busy trajectory. So that's what that's doing. And if I didn't have this T wait command here, it wouldn't be waiting at this line. It would go down the next line and execute the code. I don't have anything there, but it would have. So it's good to put those T weights. So now it's at 10,000 or 100,000, and the green LED is gone. Busy trajectory is not there anymore, and it's in absolute mode still. And that is how you transmit a program to the smart motor.